Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the Managing Director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing bear traps in Thailand. What are we talking about with respect to bear traps? Well, let me be clear. I'm not saying anybody's intentionally setting bear traps for foreigners to walk into and have their legs chopped off or something. No, what I'm, what I'm talking about, and I'm not even saying that anybody in Thailand is intentionally setting anyone up in Thailand to fail. What I am talking about is circumstance, I've seen this over, I've been here 15 years, circumstances arise where things will, for even a relatively prolonged period of time, look very appealing. And let me, let me, let me, let me put some context on this. So, for example, there was a time, I remember it quite well, when you know, it was very easy, for lack of a better term, to live in Thailand in perpetual tourist visa status, or for that matter, just perpetual overstay. Just came into Thailand and just went into overstay, and the worst case scenario is if you got caught in overstay, yeah, they'd detain you for a little bit, and then they'd deport you, and you just paid 20,000 baht. Well, you know, then in came the blacklist, and people didn't believe it. Uh, they didn't believe it was a big deal. They didn't believe Thailand was getting serious about overstay. And a lot of people that have been on prolonged overstay, we did videos on this, people that have been in thousands of days in Thailand on overstay, you know, basically made a life here. And if they had kind of seen the bear trap for what it was and seen at the time, and there was a lot of information out there about the proposed blacklist and the new rules on overstay, they'd have just done a border run, gotten out of the country, you know, gotten a new visa, come back in and been done with it. But people can get complacent and they presume that things you know, are as they are and will sort of always be that way. And then they're in a big bear trap and it's a real problem. And I, I'm not really hesitating much to use that term, albeit as a metaphor, because that is how it will feel you know, when, if you get caught up in something like that. I mean, I'm sure people that were on prolonged overstay that were just used to living their lives here, I'm pretty sure they don't, they're not real happy now that they're essentially barred for life from coming to Thailand. So, you know, and I don't know, but it would, I would presume that. You know, bear traps I kind of see right now, one thing a lot of folks have been talking to us about cannabis, for example, you know, they sort of see the rather, you know, fluid situation. They're kind of viewing it as, well, everything's just kind of open. It's all, look, there's stuff going on in the background there. There's regulations coming down. There's going to be laws on this. It's not going to be exactly how you think it's going to be. I'm not saying I know how everything's going to play out but I can definitely see the makings of a bear trap in that particular area. <clears throat> Another big one is things like work authorization. I've seen a lot of folks here recently uh, appear to be very cavalier about work authorization. I'm here to tell you immigration and the Labor Department takes work authorization quite seriously. And when they do uh, make a problem for somebody on work authorization, it can have profound ramifications, including but not limited to deportation and blacklisting from Thailand. The point I'm trying to make in this video, I'm not saying any specific thing, any specific fact pattern is gonna to lead to a bad situation. What I am saying is there are circumstances where a seemingly calm situation, a seemingly easy scenario in Thailand can be deceptively problematic in a long-term context. 